Hello, what's up guys? Uh, we're going to start developing Android applications uh, in these tutorials and we're going to start up with the basics. First of all, we need to download the IDE, the Integrated Development Environment that we'll be using. We would use uh, Eclipse IDE mm, for developing Android applications and we are also going to download and set up the Android SDK for installation, uh, for developing Android applications. Um, so let's start by uh, getting Eclipse. Uh, well, to get Eclipse, you just go to eclipse.org and then in the download section, um, you would have to download Eclipse Classic because that is the ideal uh, version of Eclipse for developing Android applications. Now, I'm using Windows 8 Developer Edition and uh, this is the 64-bit version. Therefore, I had uh, I have downloaded the 64-bit uh, Windows version. You can download it all, all as according to your operating system. Uh, the procedure should be similar to in Windows 7 and Vista. Alright, now that we have downloaded the Eclipse SDK, we have to extract it. Alright, so we will extract it here. <coughs> you can use any other extraction application like um, WinRAR or WinZip, or whatever is your preference. Um, developing Android applications, one thing that you should know is that you should have uh, a little bit of background of Java. Well, if you don't have a background of Java, I'm going to take things real slow so you would learn a lot, even though you would not have, even though if you do not have a Java background. But if you have a Java background, it would really help a lot because most of the libraries that we are going to be using are from Java and uh, the programming syntax and everything that's Java because most of the applications for Android are built on Java. Therefore, it is better um, and more suitable for you to learn Java first because uh, that would help you a lot in learning Android applications. But if you don't know Java, you can still make a lot of Android applications, at least the basic ones. So that should not be a very big problem. All right, now Eclipse has been downloaded, and uh, this is Eclipse. It's pretty much simple. You just have to run uh, the Eclipse. However, if you you can see here that I do not have the Java runtime environment installed. So therefore, you will have to install the Java runtime environment. Now, so this, since this is a 64-bit version of Eclipse, you would need to download and install JDK 64-bit. 64-bit JDK. JDK is required because, well, we can work with the Java runtime environment also, but JDK would be required because we would also be running, uh, we would be compiling Android application and Android is Java based, so JDK is required. So download the latest version of JDK from Oracle's website. Now, mm, the latest version of JDK is 1.7 or Java 7. Uh, Java, so you will have to download that one. Now, these come with bundled, but we do not want the bundled one, so we're just going to download the simple JDK version. Um, this would be here, this version. So we're going to download this one. Now these are for Linux and Windows, so we're going to download the Windows 64-bit version. Uh, you have to accept the download agreement. Alright, so while this is downloading, I'm going to pause it and return back to you when it's downloaded. Now that Java has been downloaded, we're going to run Java, the installer, Java installer. So this will install the Java JDK. We're going to install the default directory that is C program files. And uh, this is the 64 bit version of the program files directory. So <coughs> No, 
Java has Java JDK has now been installed. Um, we don't want the Java FX people uh, we're going to cancel this Java FX. So now JDK has been installed and uh, now we should be able to run Eclipse easily. Now we can run Eclipse. Uh, when it starts, uh, it will ask for the workspace. Now, with the workspace, the workspace is where all your projects are going to be created. Therefore, it is advisable that you create um, that you put all your projects in a workspace, uh, in the same workspace. Therefore, it will be easy for you to manage. Or you can have different alternative workspaces. But uh, whenever you have to load a project from a works uh, you have to load a project you will have to refer to that workspace we're going to use the default workspace so now when Eclipse starts it's just going to be able to do Java programming because we've only installed the JDK uh, and we've not configured with any other compiler therefore it would only be able to ju do Java as you can see from these Java projects uh, from these projects sorry project yeah you can see that we can do Java projects but we're not interested in Java at the moment we're interested in Android therefore we need to uh, install the Android SDK now just search on Bing or Google for the Android SDK right sorry for my typos all right and uh, now Android SDK comes in two parts first there is the installer that we can download from here this is the installer for the Windows we will download the EXE version because it's a lot easier to manage on Windows we're going to download this version alright now the second part is when this installer installs uh, uh, and the installation is complete you get to choose the various version of uh, the APIs that we will be using API is sort of a bunch of libraries that we could use to develop the Android application so we would be choosing the Android gingerbread 2.3.3 version of the API for developing uh, Android application but you can choose anyone which you like uh, if you have an Android phone uh, it would be preferable to choose the API version of that phone so you can actually test on your phones however these applications are generally backward compatible therefore you don't need to worry about that so we'll let it download and then I'll get back to you alright now we have downloaded the installer so we're going to run that and uh, we're going to install it in the default directory as well so no need to change that well if you want to change it you just have to remember where you install it because we would have to point Eclipse to this location now check this if you want but if you don't want to run the SDK manager right now you can later on find it in the programs uh, all programs Windows all programs so first of all we're going to run this and uh, now here are the API versions now you can see the API version for Android 2.3.3 is API 10 we're going to install this and we're going to work on this so uh, by default since the ice cream sandwich has been released so by default it's going to be this is going to be selected the Android 4.0 version of the API but uh, we don't need that because we're going to be developing on older applications because there are a lot of uh, phones available for and gingerbread than there are for any other version of Android so we're going to install this version you can install any other version if you want this one is for the honeycomb and these are the previous versions so you can install any version which you like now among these we're going to install how now we don't need actually the Sony Ericsson mobile edition or the real 3D by LG because these are this is this one is for the 3D the real 3D displays by LG and this one is for developing applications for Sony Ericsson phones therefore we don't need that and neither do we need the dual screen version so these three basic ones are more than sufficient for us to start these tutorials therefore we're going to be downloading only these uh, three and the Android SDK platform tools 
because we might need them alright so we're going to be and we need to install the USB driver package because if you want to connect your phone to uh, during the development um, you need this uh, this provides you the facility because um, the facility that you can actually test the applications on your phone instead of the emulator which is a lot faster because emulators are the emulator for Android is quite slow so you might want this however if you have a proprietary package for the uh, proprietor USB driver you might need to install that so we're going to install these. We need to accept the license agreement. I'm right, going to install these. So um, I'll let these uh, install, and then I'll get back to you. All right. Now, when it has been it has downloaded, uh, you would see that Android platform tools have been installed, and um, the platform SDK and the samples for the SDK have been installed. Well, basically, we need these at the moment. So we're not going to bother with the rest at the moment, but we would cover them uh, later on in other tutorials. Alright, now on the Android SDK page from where we downloaded the installer, we need to locate, you need to locate the Android development tools. Now <coughs> this ADT plugin is required for Eclipse to integrate the, to link the Android SDK with Eclipse so that we can develop uh, applications in Eclipse. Well, now scroll down and copy this address and in Eclipse and under the help menu there is an option for install new software. Now post just paste this there and uh, paste the link there and you would get these developer tools. Now we have to install these developer tools. Uh, we would install these developer tools and click finish. Mm, this would install the developer tools. and when it's done installing uh, the Android SDK that we have downloaded will be linked with Eclipse so we can create a new project for developing the application now during installation it will uh, give you a security warning and asking you that uh, the software that you are trying to install is not signed uh, but we don't really care about that so we're just gonna click OK and then it's gonna install the software. Now it, this is only restarting the Eclipse uh, IDE so we will restart the Eclipse IDE and the same workspace and uh, now alright now we have uh, installed the SDK so therefore we would choose the existing location We're going to point it to the location of the SDK, which is Android, Android SDK. Okay, and then we're going to click next. Uh, we're not going to send usage statistics. Therefore, now we're going to click finish. All right. Now over here, when you click projects, previously you remember that we could only get Java over here, but now we can also get an Android, and we can now create an Android project. Uh, we'll create. We'll cover the create creation of Android projects in the next tutorial. So stay tuned.